This is my black stallion way back when. I call him Wayne. I'm Ed. And uh, it's a sloppy, cold, rainy <laughs> day today. And uh, I still want to try to get on him and work with him a little bit. Um, this is, here I'll show you what's going on here. This is, see this mare here in the pen here? This is my wife's horse. This is, this is, this is a bandit's queen, call her queen. And that's her, her horse. And uh, Kev was working with her in here a little bit, keeping her brushed up. Uh, and uh, I just walked up, you can, kind of, you can kind of see her there. And uh, Wayne is really getting, now you heard him call a little bit there. But he's getting really, uh, just checking his girth here. He's getting really good uh, about manners, like uh, around other horses. Now, if she came up to us right now, I'd back him up and take him, take him away from her a little bit because I think he could uh, strike or paw. It's a lot. That's what a lot of male horses do. A lot of that they use their 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 front feet to paw and display and you know that kind of stuff and so they're really kind of animated with that and but the rail there i don't wouldn't want to get hurt or or doing it get you know snagged or anything like that so now see he's kind of he's kind of wants to do something here because of her there so so i'm but this is the this is a good thing to practice with him. See, he's trying to go forward. He's trying to go through my hands here. I'm not, I'm just putting up a wall and stopping him. I'm gonna back up. So I'm gonna get him working right now. Just get him thinking about me. And what I'm trying to do right now is get him to, he's backing up, but he backs up real kind of slow and uh, quasi uh, reluctant, you know? Now he's doing good, see? And what I wanna do is get him to drop his head give to the bit and and back up in self carriage. So basically where he is in he is responsible for his own feet kind of thing. You can see how sloppy wet it is here. Uh, so I just moved around with my legs there. So I'm going to back him up again. I'm looking looking straight ahead, you know. And um, and so there. When when he gives like that, I'm going to just give it give about a half inch and um, so that I'm trying to help him get in the, the right position to, to back up good, back up well. And so, there. But, so, you know, the thing to do with, with any horse is when they're not thinking about you and thinking about maybe other horses and stuff like that, is to start uh, asking them to do stuff. Uh, picture yourself if you're staring out the window or something and you're daydreaming or you're watching your show and and uh, you, you, your, your mind's not on the task. Well, if the task becomes pretty uh, demanding, uh, then your focus will get back to it. Uh, so you, uh, you want to do that with your horse. Hey, Ed, check this out. Okay, I'm going to watch for all the seconds. Kevin's going to show me something. Let me back him up. There we go. All right. Whoa. All right. Put a, I put a wall on. See, he's getting excited that she's moving. We're doing a lot of liberty work uh, with the horses. We do a lot of that. See, he's trying to get her to follow him and hook on. See, look how good she's doing. That's good. See, I see. He's got his right hand out. I don't know if you can see it or not, but he's got his right hand out. Trying to get her to follow him on that side. And now he has his left hand out, so he's, he switched sides. Now he's trying to get her to, to move over. That's cool, dude. See that? Horses are so smart. I mean, they're just so, so, so smart. Look at that. Yeah, all right, man. She disengaged his hind end just with his, uh, putting his arm up like that. Disengaged her hind end. Yeah, that's awesome. I want to get her to go to a triple, you know, but 
Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I see how he's doing that. He's doing that flim, like what they call phlegmatic or flim. Just gonna get her back up a little bit. See? That's good. Try to get him to back up a little bit. Okay, now she's gonna come over, so I'm gonna back him up on her, on her space. <laughs> see, but I, I like how he's not losing his mind. You know, he's really, he's really holding it together. That's really good, Kev. Yeah, see, that was really good of him. He listened. I didn't have to pull on him too hard or anything. Uh, and now he's just watching. So he, he's learned to do this. He's learned that he can watch. Now he still, he still loses, like right now. See, he just lost, you know, he's, 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 his, his his own thoughts became louder than, than mine. See how he's calling her? So so now I just backed him up and asked him to do something. Now I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually turn him and stuff and spin him a little bit here. Get him thinking about me. There you go. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. See how he's if you could tell his eyes are well, his eyes are backing me now, but they were looking they were looking for her. See, she just walked, she just ran by. Go back. I'm gonna turn him to the left here. Come on, see. That's away from where he wants to be, so that's hard to see. How his head, he's focused on her now. But he's really getting better with coming back to me, which I really like. I love. I like. I like working with stallions too. I like with all all the horses. To be honest, you know they all have their different. Challenges. Geldings, of course, are the easiest, and then uh, mares are, are more difficult. They tend to really want you to prove, I, I call it prove yourself to them. And a stallion, you just have to be clear and, and, and consistent. I think a lot of people are too hard on stallions. Um, uh, they're either too hard on them, or they're too just marshmallow sweet soft on them. And they just let them walk all over. They're afraid of them. You know, they let them walk all over them. And, uh, and you know, you just got to strike the balance. You just have to be clear, persistent. Don't nag them. And uh, just, you're, you're going to be actively riding when you're riding the stallion, you know, all the time. Kind of thing you got to be really thinking. But they're, you know, they're actually real smart and, got like an insane amount of stamina you know and stuff like that so they're, they're cool uh, and it'll make you better it'll make you a better rider working with them you know i'm gonna head out a little bit <clears throat> but i like doing this i, I uh, come back and forth like this when i'm riding uh, somebody was asking me about liberty work and uh, what else did they ask me? They asked me something about. Oh, they were asking me about. It was it was a response to one of my or a comment to one of my videos with uh, my mayor Blondie, and she's you know she gets she's pretty high energy, very very sensitive, and also. Um, you know, this person's horse was kind of, um, you know, called it kind of herd bound, I think. And, and you know, she's getting frustrated with the horse and, and that because she can't, she, she had trouble doing stuff with it, you know. Um, what, I, what I was saying to her to do was to take him out like this, like I did here, like, like okay, I'm taking him away from the barn. He's gonna, he's gonna pee. I wish I could get. A, I need to get a video of this because I'm getting so much flack from that. Um, that little short I have a uh, Catherine Zeta Jones, my my mare, parking out, and this horse is peeing right now, and he's parking out, stretching out as far as she did in that. And now he just took off. Okay, so people are all concerned that she's gonna wreck her hips and stuff like this. And he just did that. I mean, he does this multiple times. Every time he goes to take a pee, he he stretches out, and so do mares. So. Oh, all right, I digress. Anyhow, um, so what I do, like what, what seems to help, um, 
is when you're see he's looking at those horses there uh it seems to help when you have uh, a, a herd bound horse and and i hate these kind of terms because it makes it sound like there's something wrong with the horse this is their natural thing they're not lone wolves they they, they, they go in a herd they feel secure they have to feel safe all that kind of stuff and so you have to become a uh, a good you have to become a source of safety for them all right something that they can trust you and you do that through um i think you do it through work and stuff um like working with them 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 uh doing a task uh getting through something that was scary to them getting through the other side called going through the tunnel you know to the light on the other side that kind of stuff but what i do is i um i go uh I go out like this, and then I'll turn around and I'll go back to the barn, just like this. Okay. No, he's, he's, <laughs> he wanted to race back to the barn, so I had to stop him. But I'll go back and forth from here to the barn. Yeah, and and that seems to help them with their with. Uh, oh, I don't know. It just it it kind of it, it makes it seem like. They're not. I think it mixes it up. They don't. They don't know where they're going, and and if they're heading back or or whatever, and it mixes it up. And it's also good for you because, uh, you know, you're like right there. He was gonna. He wanted to race back, and I stopped him. So that was a training opportunity. Okay. He learned a little something like, all right, if I race, this is what happens. As long as I'm consistent about it, uh, he'll he'll get to the point where he just won't he won't do it. My dog Ace, he's a German Shepherd, and uh, he's a big dog, and I I tell him to wait when I open the door before he goes racing out the door. And now I just open the door, and if he if he goes to take a step out without me saying okay, I I shut the door. You know, I shut the door. Or I just prevent him from going out. You know, and if he does bolt out, I make him come back in, <laughs> and I make him go back out. I wait and then go back out when I say okay. And so it's all these little, little training instances like this. Like I tell people all the time, if you enjoy the process of training horses, and not just, not just like heading out on a ride, you know. Like some people just want to sit there and you know have a beer in their hand and just ride and that's their end goal they don't really want to do anything else well you know you can get pretty frustrated pretty quick but if you enjoy if you enjoy the process of working with horses and uh then i don't like i don't care i don't care if i'm if i'm just going honestly if i'm if i'm just taking this horse back and forth you know 500 feet up the driveway and then back to the barn and doing some exercises and then back up and I don't mind I like it I just like the whole process so if you if you got that kind of temperament and personality you're going to be you're going to be fine you just keep pushing yourself and keep trying to get better I see you want to come back here you can tell can't you now see how he's kind of prancing <laughs> he's kind of prancing around and kind of showing off he's kind of looking Look at me, you know, he's looking handsome, right? And, uh, all right, I better move up here. He's kind of come through with, with her easy. So he's trying to show, he's trying to show off with her. So I just took him, took him away. <clears throat> See, he's acting all stallion right now. It's, it's really, it's really muddy. So I don't want to go easy, but easy. When I'm slip and fall, we're gonna go in the round pen here. See, this is the kind of stuff I don't like that it's so it's so darn muddy right now. Afraid he'll slip and fall. So I'm gonna take him in here a little bit while he's doing that, moving that horse. And I'm gonna just work on some, you know, aids like his. I'm, working, I'm putting my right leg on him. I know he did a nice turn there. Now I'm gonna put my left leg on him. Lean back a little bit. No. Nope. Stop and get him to, there. Turn like that. That's great. So now he's gonna go to the gate. Thinks he's gonna get out. See how he's still looking up there? Still looking for her. So that's the thing about riding stallions. Uh, 
you know you have to be you just you just have to really be consistent with them i think it's with every horse but it it's you, you don't you don't have a lot of margin of error with a st with a stallion now i find them delightful i mean I, I like i really like them i think they're like this guy he's a he's a good-natured sweet horse you know he really is but when he you know if he gets a strong thought about a mare or or maybe fighting another horse or something like that you know you got to be it could be it could be kind of scary i guess you know now i'm just like i'm putting i'm trying to steer him with my legs and trying to direct him a little bit with the rain just a little bit trying to get his head in the right position <clears throat> There we go. Yeah, he's doing he's doing well. It's a really really lousy day today. Alright, nice. Passing some manure. There you go, bud. So I'm gonna see if I can get him to stand on this mark here. I think I should be able to. See that see that mark in the middle here? Let's see if I can get him to step on it. Whoa! Easy. So, all right, let's step over, bud. No, nope. come on. Step over. There you go. Step, step up on it. Now he'll avoid it probably. <laughs> I'm just trying to get him to, trying to get him to take like one step. He's not thinking about me. He's he's looking up there and looking for Queen and Kevin. All right, come on, step up. Can't see where it is. Okay, Let's see if we can get him to step up on it. Come on, bud. Come on. There you go. Good. One hook. Good. Good boy. No. See, he want he he's trying to race through my hands. So I was putting up a wall there. No. Get over. Yeah. I just don't want him to see he's racing through my hands. He's, I want, I'm giving him a cue for like one step and he's taking five or wants to take five. So that's what I'm kind of trying to do with him here. Step up, bud. See, he's not even looking. He's not paying attention. There. Come on, step up. Uh, they're going to be blowing. I'm going to turn this off right now. Okay, they're done blowing. Um, I'm gonna, I got him to step up on the uh, on the mark. I'm going to see if I can get him to step up on this pedestal here. He's sniffing it. <laughs> there you go. He's, he's investigating it. All right, now come on. Let's try this. There you go. There you go. There you go. Try it. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Come on. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Now, I taught him, in fairness, I taught him to do this like in a... Um, on his lead rope and, and halter. So, but that's cool. That's pretty cool. I like, I just like doing this kind of stuff. Anything, anything extra you can do with a horse that gives him a, hey Jake. Yeah, that's awesome, huh? Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah he's a cool horse. Yeah. Doc that big log guy would always go over. He said, Buddy, feet up on that. That's pretty cool. Did you sit in that Yeah. Pretty cool. Come on, back up. Back up. I just think that's cool. Yeah. yeah. If you can get him, if I can get him to, you know, listen and think like that, it's just, just one more thing, you know? Yeah, heck yeah. Uh, here we go. Let's try it again, buddy. See if we just go right up to it. Yeah. All right, come on, bud. It's not a real tall photo, so I think it's about eight or ten inches or something like that. There you go. Look at that. Boom. Right up. Good boy. What's cool about uh, doing uh, pedestals and stuff is uh, uh, when you train them, like to do it at Liberty or with a, on a lead rope, you can make this be a rest spot, and then they actually seek it out. Uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, he's pawed. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Good deal. Yeah, good boy. Should get a picture of this. That'd probably be pretty cool. 
Here. Here, Kev. Yeah. Maybe do a maybe do a a, a short video to like do it you know in in this way so that I can edit it on onto this one. There you go. Yeah, I'm gonna start at base and okay. back out. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. So this is uh, yeah, this is us videotape and stuff. This is kind of behind the scenes. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. He's such a good horse, this guy. A lot of people want to see what Wayne looks like. Uh, his his register name's way back when. Yeah, there you go. It's gonna get down. Cool, that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah he looks good. Good. You've cool. done a lot with him, it really good. Yeah, I love I love this horse. Yeah. He's he's really he's really he's really getting to be a good guy, you know. I mean he has his moments, but so does so do I. You know what I mean? That's how, that's how I think about it. So do I. I seen Queen when I first put her in here. She wasn't like that. Yeah, I know. She was giving me the sass, buddy. Yeah, when I turned when I turned him around, <laughs> when I turned, I was talking, I was videotaping it, or recording. I was, I turned around in the driveway, uh -huh. and we he just he reared up and was going to high ho silver here, and I had to shut him down. <laughs> I think he thought he thought, oh, we're going back to Queen, you know. You know, my girlfriend. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so. But he's, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a wonderful horse. I love this guy. And that's the mark right there. You can see it. See that right there? That's the mark. But, uh, yeah, that's cool. Thanks, Kev. You can do something with those. Yeah, well. thank you. Yeah, I didn't know you were recording early when I was like, hey, yes, look at this. That's fine. Sorry about that. That's fine. You got a black camera and a black coat on the way. Black horse. Yeah. He is a good boy, though. Yeah, so this is Wayne. He's doing really well. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I just love, like I said, I just love working with horses and uh, helping them through stuff and thinking like that, you know. They're so curious, they're really magnificent animals. I mean, just magnificent, you know. I mean, just wonderful. See this, here's the mark. Let's see if we can get a step on the mark. Okay, back up, bud. Back up. Step up on it. Step up. Step up. Yeah, there you go. He's checking it out, checking to see if it's, if it's sturdy, you know. All right, I think it's sturdy enough, bud. You can step up on it. There you go. That's the other hoof. He's checking his other, checking his right hoof now. <laughs> there you go. Good boy. There we are. We're up. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Now I'm gonna just gonna let him stand there a second. Yeah, it's a good boy. Let him be off, you know. And then uh, I'll back him up here off it, and I'm gonna get him back on the pedestal, and then I'm gonna. I just loaded his. Yeah, back up. Back up. There you go. All right, let's turn. So I got my right leg on him. I'm getting the, there you go. Turn on the haunches. Now we're gonna step up on this. Let him, oh, let him see it. You got it, see it? He's sniffing it. You got it. There you go, step up. Look at that. Oh, good boy. He's such a good boy. Yeah. Now make sure you subscribe and comments in the comment section below and let us know how you, how you like that and how you like Wayne. Have a good one. Should people subscribe? They should. <laughs> hey, smash that like button and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.